In this activity, we need to illustrate the three characteristics of the consumption function. In order to do that, we start off with the equation for the consumption function, C equals C bar plus C1. Now, this equation tells us that consumption consists of two separate parts. Firstly, we have an induced part, and then we have an autonomous part. Looking at the induced part, it shows that if there's an increase in income, consumption will increase. And that is our first characteristic of consumption. It's dependent on income. An increase in income leads to an increase in consumption. The margin propensity to consume tell us that should income increase, consumption will increase, but not by the full amount of the increase in income. We will spend only a certain proportion, and that proportion is given by the modes of propensity consume. Turning to the autonomous part, it tells us a certain part of consumption is independent of income. Even though income is zero, a certain amount of consumption will take place, the autonomous part. So these then are three characteristics. Firstly, increase in income leads to an increase in consumption. We won't spend the full amount of the increase in income. And thirdly, then, there's also an autonomous part. But we also need to draw a diagram showing the th these three characteristics. We start off, and yes, we're going to draw a diagram showing the relationship between consumption and income. We know that a certain amount of spending takes place even though income is zero. So if income is zero, a certain amount of spending takes place, the autonomous part. So we're at this point. We know from the induced part, if income increase, consumption will also increase. So as there's an increase in income, consumption increases, and we have the consumption function. But we don't spend the full amount of the increase in income. We spend only a certain proportion. So if income increased by one rand, we spend only a certain proportion, say 80 cent of that, and that is given by the mass of propensity to consume. Let's see. Does this diagram tell the same story as we, what we found in the equation? Well, firstly, relationship between consumption and income. We can see if there's an increase in income, consumption will increase. Yes, that is what we found when we dealt with the equation. The first characteristic, consumption is a function of income. But we do not spend the full amount of the increase. We spend only a certain proportion, the mass of propensity to consume. So this proportion that we spend, and you will know this is also equal to the slope, is the mass of propensity to consume, the second characteristic. And thirdly, we said, Turning to the autonomous part, spending takes place even though income is zero. We have autonomous spending given by autonomous C, the intercept on the vertical axis. As easy as that.